Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here. So today we're having a look at Gegard Musasi. He's the current Bellator middleweight champion and he, I think he beat Douglas Lima recently as well. So he's actually a double champ now in Bellator, uh, welterweight and middleweight. And uh, yeah, he used to be a force to be reckoned with within the UFC as well. If you guys followed kind of the old school history of uh, UFC, um, I think he was all the way back in Pride actually as well. And a very well-rounded fighter. He's got an awesome jab. His ground game is phenomenal. Great off the back, great off, uh, great on top as well. Good defensive wrestling and uh, yeah, just dangerous everywhere really. And you know what? It's a shame that he actually uh, left the UFC because it would have been cool to see a matchup between him and um, Adesanya really, like a champ champ kind of thing. I mean, if there's ever a time to do Bellator versus UFC, I think these these two guys are the ones to meet. I mean, I really think that Musasi has the kind of striking. IQ to to take on someone like Adesanya. I'm not saying he would win, but um, certainly be a cool fight to watch. A lot of intelligence and high IQ from both fighters in in such a case like that. So anyway, today we're looking at uh, Gegard Musasi, and uh, yeah, just copy what you see on the screen to get the same results as mine. I'm working off the. Let's go to the head template. I'm working off template two, and I tried it on a different template as well before I actually changed the template to. Um, just it didn't work out so follow what you see on the screen copy all the sliders do all that good stuff if you like the content then hit me a thumbs up drop a comment below if you want see other bellator fighters and i'll see what i can do and uh, yeah man let's keep the show on the road so but i'd say gegard musasi was actually quite difficult to do a lot of his face um to get it right you need to make sure that the eyebrows are quite thick like a lot of the definition comes from his eyebrows from his nose as well and the lips kind of thing and uh, yeah, unfortunately we couldn't do much more with the ears. I would have loved to have taken some of those earlobes away and protruded them a bit more, but uh, it is what it is. So yeah, I'd be interested to see. I might even do a simulation after this of uh, Gegard Musasi versus Adesanya. Maybe I'll play as Musasi myself and see um, what, what can be done. Like I, I'd say Musasi would definitely be able to, you know, try and at least, he, he would be, I think so be able to do some sort of grappling exchange with Adesanya, which could get Izzy in trouble, but it's a fight that I think we're never going to see. Izzy's going up to fight Jan Blahovic at light heavyweight, and uh, yeah, we all know Jan Blahovic is going to win that, then he's going to go down to middleweight, he's going to win that, and he's going to go up to heavyweight and win the Stipe fight, and he's going to be triple champ. <laughs> Can you imagine a timeline like that? That'd be crazy, but nah, I don't think that's going to happen. But it'll be an interesting fight. So to get Gegard right again, the, the eyebrows are very important here. So we're using Mythos font number nine. And uh, yeah, just kind of copy what you see on the screen. You don't have to copy it like, exactly, but just try and get the shape of your eyebrows to be pretty similar to what I've got in mind. Doesn't really matter too much the order you do it in, as long as they're quite layered, quite thick. And um, you can also, you need to, you don't, you don't have to actually blend. I didn't really blend them in because he's actually got quite thick, full eyebrows. So just make sure you get all the right spots and uh, yeah so I've used how many have I used I've used eight nine yeah I've used nine eyebrows so I think five on one side four on the other side and then we're using the same font Mythos font nine you're gonna do it for the facial hair as well now there are other ways to do facial hair this was just the way that kind of popped into mind when I was doing them um, mr. Musasi and uh, yeah just got Mythos font nine all over the sides of his face on one side and then we're gonna do the same on the other side as well when I get to it just a moment so it looks like we've got around maybe 10 tattoos on this side maybe more let's find out 11 12 yep yeah. and then we jump to the other side yeah so same again on this side now if you want to make the tattoos a bit fuller what you can do actually is chuck a um, shapes behind it so let me get to that you can chuck one of these shapes as well and uh, you can get a kind of darker beard going if that's what you think is a better look leave it up to you guys i've just kind of gone for the nice and easy mythos font 9 it's kind of my go-to for doing anything to do with hair now it's just i just use mythos font 9 but um, yeah if you really wanted to perfect it then i'd recommend trying some shapes in there as well so those are all the facial hair then we're going up and we're creating a big 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 tattoo for his hairline and we're just trying to just fill it in a bit so that it doesn't look quite so bald 
And again, I've got one on this side, just at the top. Got one down the side of his head. And another one just literally just making copies of them. Got one behind his head. And then one more, which is, let me just make sure I get it right. Yeah, sort of again, this side, just over here. So yeah, just basically just to fill out his hair a bit more. And so those are his facial hairs and uh, face sliders. His body type, again, I went for body number 11. I thought it was a good fit. What I started modeling him on was body four. So if you guys want to use the original model that I was making him on was body four. And right at the end, I made a change to body 11, just after looking at pictures on the, uh, more pictures on Google. He had quite a thicker neck. So I, I thought body 11 was a good fit in the end. And yeah, for his clothing guys, I mean, just the UFC stuff really. Um, this is my alt account, but interestingly, yeah, this is my alt account, so I don't have any of the stuff unlocked. But yeah, any of the Reebok bottoms, really. I'll leave it up to you guys. Gloves, UFC gloves, and mouth guard. Um, just whatever you guys want, really. I mean, what would Musashi wear? Maybe the fangs? The UFC. Although he's not really, he, he, he didn't really like the UFC. I don't know, he obviously didn't get the good deals he was looking for. He didn't get the fights he was looking for, and that's kind of why he left the UFC anyway. So yeah, that is a Gegard Musasi, guys. I'm going to save it, and I'll show you my, my other attempt at Gegard Musasi, just, just for the jokes. And then I'll wrap this one up. I've got some other content coming to the channel as well. I've got, um, I don't know what order I'll upload these in, but I've got Donnie Yen and Arnold Schwarzenegger on the way. So uh, yeah, so this was the other attempt at Gegard Musasi, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. The facial hair looks alright, uh, but the face was just not there, so left that one there. And then um, yeah, it was actually the skin tone I changed right at the end as well. And uh, yeah, let me let me just square him off against Izzy, man. Let me just square him off against Izzy real quick, and then uh, we'll call it a wrap. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice week, and. Uh, I think I probably will stream on Friday, seeing as Muay Thai is off. Yeah, come on. That is a decent Musasi. That is a decent Musasi. Yes, I am pleased. I am very pleased. Yep, 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 yep. Very happy with that result. All right, and guys, if you enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to square these two off. And then, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden, and I'm out of here.